59-year-old Roy Waller, clad today in a jail-issued orange jumpsuit with shackles around his arms, waist, and legs, heard from prosecutors as they laid out 46 criminal counts. Waller, a Benicia resident who worked as a forklift operator for the University of California, is accused of sexually assaulting at least nine women in a series of attacks. In a 15-year crime spree that spans six Northern California counties, including Sonoma, Solano, Contra Costa, Yolo, Sacramento, and Butte. Waller is accused of using a weapon, sometimes a gun, sometimes a knife, to victimize women, many of them Asian, according to one former detective. Waller allegedly taped their eyes shut and tied them to the bed ransacking their homes and, in some cases, kidnapping them. The attacks were unsolved for more than two decades until DNA evidence surfaced linking Waller to the crimes. The district attorney's office was tight-lipped today outside of court, and so was Waller's defense team. I can't make any statements on this. Nothing at all? Okay. I'm not allowed to say anything. Is there a gag order on this case? Uh, no, there isn't, but... Uh, um, there are people watching the case. I can't say anything. Okay. It's all understood. Roy Waller remains in custody tonight, but he'll be back here again in court for the continuance of his preliminary hearing on January 10th to determine if there's enough evidence to go to trial. In Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.